Oh, hang on. I've got to cut away because Liam's just hooked up. So we'll get straight into that. G'day, my name is Luke, and this is my wife, Jen. And here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating, and exploring the pristine waters surrounding Gary Fraser Island and Harvey Bay for well over a decade now. And we want to share with you everything we have learned along the way. So hit that subscribe button, sit back and enjoy the adventure. Morning everybody. Thanks again for watching our videos. Today we are over at Moon Point again. Uh, there'll be a previous video from a few weeks ago where we showed you how to get to Moon Point, how easy it is, great destination for beginners, all that sort of stuff. Uh, during that video, we spent most of the time on the western side. Sorry, the eyes are... I'm going to put these on because it's very bright. Yep. Oh, hang on. I've got to cut away because Liam's just hooked up. So we'll get straight into that. Take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Liam? He's swimming right in at us. He's decent. Yeah, net. Hold in there, I've got to get the net out. Beautiful, you actually got him in the eye. Can you wet that towel? Okay, let's uh oh a lure just popped. How often does that happen? Yeah, lots. Yeah, the lip grippers. Do you want? It's feel pretty good. Yeah. Another one? Flatty yeah. master. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right oh Liam, give us the rundown on that fish, buddy. Alright, so I'll just cast right behind that snag. Bring it back slowly, just a little hop like that. And off, he had a go at it and I hooked him, but then he dropped it. And then I just did another hop and then I felt the tink in the line. Gave it about three seconds and he just came to the surface and started splashing around in that. Nice. Good fish to start the day, mate. 52 centimeters. Yeah, that's a good fish. Good fish. And we let him go. Yeah. Flatty your friends, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do occasionally keep them, folks. We occasionally keep a flathead for dinner, but uh, we do let a lot go. All right, let's see if we can get amongst some more. We did a previous video a few weeks ago, and I'll drop the link in the description below about how to get to Moon Point. Great family destination, great beginner destination. It's got all the details on how to get here. During that video, we spent quite a lot of time on the western side, sort of northwestern side of Moon Point just because of the wind direction that day. It was blowing quite a strong southeasterly. Today, we're spending all our time on the eastern side. And as you can see, lots of fallen timber, mangrove lines, lots of coffee rock, plenty of areas to explore. It's quite shallow. It's about one and a half to two meters at most. And it's just beautiful. So paddleboard, kayak is out again. Fishing, of course, bit of exploring really easy family fun that anybody can do with a trailer boat and uh, we'll show you what we get up to today. So we're paddling paddling out um, just over some coffee rock so the boys wanted to come fishing over here because there's lots of coffee rock um, so we've come in just as it's high tide or just before high tides so we've got a bit of time to explore. There's so many cool things in here we've seen about I don't know six or seven little shovel nose shark shovel nose rays don't know which 
is their official name there. Um, but very, very cool stingrays, fish and that. I'll try and capture some, but it's really hard to, to get it at the same time as you're paddling and that. But I'll do my best. Um, yeah, so really, really cool. That's so why I've been waiting for it. Off he goes. Oh, my. You never know what you're going to find. That's something in there, or is it just sand? No, I think it's bones from a turtle. What? It's a bit of bone from a turtle. Hmm, that's no good. Hello. <coughs> Hello. You went through this just before, now I'm the I'm a soft touch. <laughs> the sand's really soft here. How far down are you? Oh, that's hard. Oh. That's hard. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's nice and hard. Ish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're riding on the popper. Yeah. Hold it up, mate, so I can have a look. Yeah. Oh, cool. He's oh, going, going, nice. going. Let's get him back before he. He had two goes at that. Two goes. Hold still, bro. Righto folks, so Liam and I have been fishing um, around the mangrove edges. You can see all the mangroves and trees behind us. Um, and Coffee Rock right up on the shore. It's a fairly big high tide today. Um, and we, it's actually been hard going, hasn't it? Like we've pulled, Liam's pulled a flathead and that whiting off. But um, it's been pretty quiet. And it's the day after uh, full moon. So I generally hate fishing um, straight after a full moon. It, you know, massive tides, huge run, and I find the fish just go really quiet. But other people tell me the exact opposite. So maybe it's just my bad luck, mate, that's um, doing it. Try not to get the rod tip in the camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna slip back to, there's a little feeder creek that comes in behind uh, moon point here so we're just going to uh, drift out with the tide tides turned and we'll just give that little feeder creek a bit of a, a bit of a work over and um, if we don't find anything we'll um, then try and find Jen and Elliot because they're off exploring somewhere and uh, we might head home but yeah I find it I mean yeah some days are just like that aren't they Hello. Hello. What's going on here? Uh, I'm buried. Who buried you? Myself. 